Hi all. Welcome back. I apologize for not being able to post for a while. Agreed that I don't have a million followers, at least not yet, but this is a process of documenting my life, isn't it? Well, let me come to the point. The fact is I had tested positive for COVID-19 on the 15th of May 2021, not just me, but the entire family. It has been a devastating experience and a very 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 difficult ride and the struggle is real. Fever, nausea, losing sense of smell and taste, weakness, fatigue, more than anything else, having to see your family go through what they've gone through. I wouldn't wish anybody to go through that. Whatever you've heard about COVID is true. It just takes a toll not just physically, but the mental toll that it takes on you is is something all something different altogether. It's something else. However, all you need to do and all you can do is stay strong, eat well, rest well, think positive, and just take care of yourself and your family. There are a lot of people who have come forward to help me and I'm really really grateful to all those people. They have helped me in different ways. Somebody has helped me with sorting out medication, somebody has helped me to sort out food. They have been really really wonderful. and i thank all of them from the bottom of my heart anyway long story short as of today all of us have tested negative and we are still recovering from the weakness and regaining all the strength that we have lost physically and mentally except that i've lost my dad we couldn't save him it was all fine he got tested positive he was recovering he was under medication his oxygen levels were fine his pulse was normal he was active except for a day here and there where he just couldn't feel like getting up and he was eating well he lost his sense of smell and taste but then started regaining them and and in, in no time uh i don't know what he was thinking and i don't know what went on in the inside where he was he was mourning the loss of his sister and her daughter who passed away 3 days before him testing positive i don't know it must have taken a toll on him and Uh, although we didn't realize it but i think he has he had gone through a lot of emotional stress where he was thinking about them and how he could have lent a hand uh, in in finishing up the formalities after they passed away and i think it looks like it it really took a toll on him and he was recovering that that's what surprised all of us and shocked all of us and we are we are still not out of the shock yet he was recovering until we realized that his oxygen levels were dropping all of a sudden then we had to rush him to the hospital uh, he was admitted into the icu he was all fine under the oxygen support but then they said that his infection really spread fast and uh, he had to be moved on to a ventilator and he was on on the ventilator for probably a day a day and a half maybe and then and his pulse was dropping and, and his saturations were dropping and we couldn't save him uh he was he was my pillar of strength and he he was he was my everything he was a guide he uh i didn't have to think about anything or worry about anything as long as he was there but now it's difficult it's difficult to come to terms with the fact that he's he's not with us anymore but guess that's life and we're still trying to cope up with the with the loss of the person who has been our pillar of strength in fact and uh, yeah but things have to show must go on and I would be starting making starting to make videos uh, like before uh, let's let's hopefully uh, come up with great content and and I really appreciate all of your support and see you soon until next time my name is Casey ciao covid is scary and it is you cannot explain what you have to go through uh, when you when you are when you tested positive and your body goes through a lot of stress and it goes through a lot of lot of cycles so take care you guys don't take this lightly and see you on the other side